Hey guys, so in this video, I'm going to try to make it really, really quick, hopefully less than five minutes. And we're going to just go over some of the main features that Trader Edge has and how they're really going to help you. So this is the homepage. This is where you land. If we go over to the back tester. I can reset this. This is where most of our users spend their time, right? So I'll go over how this works real quick. So um, I won't go over every single little feature in the back tester, but I will go over main the general features and how it mainly works. So we'll set an initial balance of a thousand and let's just su assume a 1.5 to one risk to reward ratio, right? So for every 2% loss, we're going to make 3% on a winning trade, right? Um, this is a cool little feature here. It shows you like the average edge score of all the users. And so the edge score is uh, one of our most important metrics in my opinion. It's a proprietary, it's a proprietary metric that we came up with that uh, basically encompasses profitability and risk and also uh, validity. So basically uh, how profitable is the strategy? How much risk does it have? Risk mainly being determined by the drawdown. And then how valid is it? Meaning like how many trades did you take? So the more trades you took, the more valid it is. So the higher the score. So basically the more profitable it is, uh, the more trades you took and the lower the drawdown, the higher the edge score. The opposite being true for a lower edge score. So right now we can see the average edge score is about 79. So anything above that would be above average on our platform. Anything below that would obviously be below average. So as we can see, we can track fees. Um, we can have multiple TP levels. We can look at our trade history. And so what I like to do is I actually like to, let's say we open up this, we go on the, they're also running a uh, Black Friday sale. Now let's say we wanted to back test the Heiken Ashi smooth, right? Let's say we went short every time it turned red and long every time it turned green, right? We wanted to back test this. Let me just remove all the drawings. Cool. So now there's a bunch of different ways to do this. You could have it on a different tab. Uh, you could have this open on your phone actually. Uh, and then little sneak peek, we're going to be making a Chrome extension soon. Uh, that'll allow you to just pop this open on a Chrome extension and start tracking. Uh, there's still some modifications to be made for this and we haven't put it live yet, but this is coming soon. A little sneak peek. Um, but yeah, so what I actually like to do, this is pretty simple. You just take it, minimize the window, set it up to where you want it. You can take this one, minimize this window, just put them side by side. I like to do that. I think it's really easy. And so what you would do is let's say go through every single trade, right? Now let's say we entered here, right? We placed our stop loss. I'm just going to place them randomly for now, but boom. And let's say we did a 1.5 to one, right? So if we're risking 2%, uh, so 1.5 to one. So we need a ratio 1.5. You see how it says here, risk to reward 1.5. So 2% loss, 3% win. So in this case, this was a winning trade. Boom, we'll place winning trade. And then you'll just go through and you can go through that for every single one. So uh, I don't know. Let's say we place our stop loss there. Uh, 1.5. You know, you can place your stop loss based on a million different ways, right? Just for the sake of this back test, I'm just placing them randomly. Like, it's, like you could do like swing levels. You could use the ATR to place your stop losses. You could use fixed pips uh, and ticks, for example, right? So like, uh, let's say, uh, let's say a fixed 20 pips or uh, we're on the daily chart right now. So 20 pips is not gonna be a lot, but let's say a fixed 200 pips, right? So a 200 pip stop loss, right? Let's say we did a fixed 200 pip stop loss here. This one we got stopped out, right? Uh, this so we would have put a loss here we would have also gotten stopped out so we would have put a loss here we would have probably ended up taking a profit right let's say 200 and then 1.5 right so we would have taken a profit right now you can you would do this for as many trades as you could now let's say we were to open it up boom you can see these are our metrics this is what we got uh, you get some cool some cool little comments here uh, this back test wasn't as good you know our edge score wasn't as high you get a bunch of metrics right away, some really important ones. Uh, you can track fees if you want. Um, you can take a look at what all these little features do. We have little little videos that explain them all. You can see the history of all the trades. Um, now let's just say I placed a bunch of random trades just to show you guys like what the comments and stuff look like. So this is the edge score. It's getting worse and there's even more comments of things we can improve on and stuff. Um, now let's say we want to save this back test. We've saved it. Now we can go to the strategy library and it'll be saved here. It shows the edge score. Uh, we can rename it to um, Heiken Ashi Smooth 
I don't remember. It was like either Euro dollar, one day uh, daily chart, right? So you could go, you could take a look at the data. You can add some notes. You can even add images or whatever it is you need to add. And there you go. So you could, like I said, you could add notes. This was good back test. You know, you can add whatever notes you want, like whatever stats, anything you need, right? And your notes are all gonna be saved there. You can even make little little boxes and uh, categorize them into the boxes. Um, you can export them, export the back tests, and you'll get like a CSV file. Um, you can import back tests directly from spreadsheets onto uh, Trader Edge, because then it makes it easy to compare them. Let's say so. Let's say we wanted to take these two and we wanted to compare the stats. So we could easily just do that. Boom, compare. And now we can look at like what our, all our stats are and everything, right? So we can see which one we think is better and, and whatnot, right? Uh, another cool feature that we just recently implemented is the forward simulator, right? So let's say we put a thousand dollar balance, 55% win rate and a hundred trades. Uh, we are going to earn 2.5%. Uh, we could do percent or dollars, but 2.5% for every profitable trade and one or sorry, and 2% for every loss. Uh, we're not going to include fees for now, just for the sake of the back test. Now, let me minimize this to make this show up a little bit easier in the whole screen. There we go. Uh, so I actually reset that. I don't think I put in, uh, I, I'm not going to put zero over there. I think I made a little mistake. Anyways, uh, the pro, the PNL didn't make any sense. So I uh, made a little mistake, I think, when entering. So that's that's our PNL. This is what the metrics would look like. Now, let's say we run the simulation again. So here we have a 12% drawdown in this particular case. If we run the simulation again, 12.8, and we could run the simulation again, see what we get. 11, 11, 10, 13, 7, 11. You see now, because of these metrics, 16, this is the highest one so far. Because of these metrics, the way that the trades play out and the, the data set plays out is always going to be a little bit different. So this does a really good job of showing you like what your potential actual max drawdowns are. Next, we have the PL calendar. PL calendar is great. So we have a little account balance graph here. How this works is let's say we reset this, we set it to a thousand, right? Uh, now we go to our home screen. Um, our PL graph will be here, you'll see. So we go to the calendar and uh, any, so the day that you change the calendar, you can't add data on that day, like it won't affect the balance. You can still add it, but it won't affect the balance. But any day after that, so let's say tomorrow we add, uh, let's say we add a thousand dollars. Or sorry, let's say we had a hundred dollars, right? We took three trades, you can do dollars per cents. Uh, let's say we had perfect trading and it was all great and we had some notes, whatever. Boom, one hundred dollars gets added to the account balance. If we go home, uh, we have other trades in the calendar, which is why they're showing up here. These are our winning days, the percentage of the winning days, how much our PL was on those days, and then our uh, account balance graph. So let's say we go to, uh, let's say the next Monday we took another trade. We made uh, $600, right? We took uh, five trades, six trades. Uh, perfect trading, uh, this. Boom. Right. Now we can go back to the homepage. As you can see here, this is how we did that week, right? This is how we're doing on the month so far, how many trades, profitability. Uh, we can go back to the homepage and you can see the graph gone up has gone up accordingly. We also have a indicator and strats tab where you can look at some strategies and our leaderboard of indicators. We're gonna actually be remaking this or I mean, we're in the process of remaking it. So there's gonna be a huge update on this soon. So stay tuned. So as you can see, there's a ton of reasons why Trader Edge is gonna help you out. And like I said, this is like a crazy sale that we're running that we're literally never gonna run again. So if you wanna check it out, I really recommend it. We're running it for 24 hours only. So don't miss out. Uh, check out the next video in the email and you'll see how exactly to sign up for the deal.